This is a summary video on small bodies in the solar system focusing on comets. The word comet comes from Latin coma. It means hair. It derives from the appearance of the comet as a fuzzy object drifting across the sky. When you learned about the formation of our solar system, you learned that near the sun only rocky objects could form. These formed the rocky terrestrial planets and some leftover debris, which we call the asteroids. At greater distances from the Sun, where volatiles such as ammonia and water ice could condense, the leftover debris formed comets. This icy debris continued orbiting the Sun but was thrown around by the gravitational tug of planets orbiting nearby. When orbiting nearer the Sun, the ice starts to evaporate. This can get picked up by the solar wind, forming what is known as the ion or gas tail of the comet away from the Sun. As the comet evaporates, some larger chunks of dust also get thrown off. Because these are heavier, they do not get blown off by the solar wind as quickly. Combined with the motion of the comet around the sun and this slowly drifting dust, the resulting shape will be the classic curved dust tail. As a result, the ion tail always points away from the sun, while the dust tail points away but lags slightly behind. The comet can be moving in the direction of its tail. The largest pieces coming off the comet can be pebble-sized and are too heavy for the solar wind to affect them greatly. They will spread out over the entire orbit of the comet. If the orbit of the comet is near 
that of Earth, they will cross once a year. The pebble sized chunks that came off the comet enter Earth's atmosphere at very high speeds, causing the annual meteor showers. Through the billions of years since the formation of our solar system, much of the debris has already been cleared out by the planets. Comets that have been thrown into very high orbits form a very large sphere of icy debris around the sun known as the Oort cloud. Icy debris that formed beyond the planets and was never thrown around to begin with is the other population of cometary bodies known as the Kuiper Belt. <laughs>